Are you excited? I am. Do you know how many people are here to celebrate your graduation? Well, wait a minute, I got it in my pocket. They give it to me right here. Take a guess. Uh, don't, you probably didn't major in math, did you? 18,000 in 18 people. And there are 2,960 of you graduating here today. You come from 31 countries and pretty much every state of the union and every county in New Jersey except Warren County. What happened to Warren? Did you guys know there is a Warren County? There are 11 people live there. Do you know the youngest graduate today is in their early 20s? I can't say the age. But the oldest graduate today is 66 years old. This is actually not a graduation. This is more like a celebration of your success. Your colleagues are going to come and talk to you a little bit about it. We have some really interesting things for you to enjoy. I even found you guys a designated speaker. You didn't get the joke, did you? Designated survivor, designated... Golly, where's the Dean of Liberal Arts? You're fired. But let me tell you a few stories that will show you what we do here at Kane and what your colleagues have been able to achieve. You are some of the strongest, most brilliant, and most spirited people anybody could find. <clears throat> You're graduating from one of the five most diverse universities in the nation and from some of the programs that are not only the best in the state, but in the best in the United States of America. And one of the students, Yvonne Lee, Yvonne, where are you? Somewhere in that direction. Yvonne had a major stroke in 2011. You could visualize what happened to her parents and to her education. She was a major in accounting, and she was within a year of graduating. It was a hard process, but her parents made a call to Kane. Our speech pathology program, especially Jenny, the occupational therapy program, the accounting program, and the, uh, the provost's office, especially Joy Moskowitz, they got together. They provided every possible avenue of help to Yvonne, and today, she is graduating. You're somewhere there, Yvonne. That's what strong means. That's who you are. Let me tell you another story about Jordan Blanda. Jordan is graduating today with her Bachelor in Art, a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. And she's doing so with honors. I mean, this is not easy. But before today, Jordan earned many other honors on the lacrosse field, on and off. And she became the New Jersey Woman of the Year in lacrosse. The award given by the Association of Intercollegiate Athletics in recognition of her athletic prowess, she is the spirit of Kane, and there are hundreds of you like Jordan in this room here today. Where is Jordan? Somewhere there. 
There you go. And we also have Stephen Palavida, who graduates today with his Bachelor of Arts in History with honors and teacher certification. Stephen is the third generation in his family to graduate from Kane. Matt Newman graduates today with his Bachelor of Arts in Communication. He is the fifth one in his family to graduate from Kane. Nicole Van Dyke, who graduates today with a Bachelor of Science in Health Information, is the sixth person in his family in three generations to graduate from Kane. That is the tradition. How many of you have another person that graduated from Kane? Raise your hand. So we must be doing a pretty good job, right? And Ethan will pursue a master's degree in financial engineering in California. Not in California, excuse me, in Columbia. And we have many students that are going to Columbia, to some of the Ivy League schools, the other one called Harvard. You guys are pretty smart. Did you know that? Give yourself a round of applause, you smart ones. And I want to give you a few words of advice. Maybe you don't want to know it, but hey, I have the microphone. I might as well do it, right? Emily Bissonnette who's going to race down right here the minute this ceremony is over to go to Virginia, because not only we won the regional one, we're going for the super regional. So Margie Acker, thank you for the softball team way up there. So here's the advice. I'm just sitting between you and Cal, who's going to be much more excited to come here, and you will be excited to hear from him than hearing from me, because you've heard from me before, right? Right? Well, the thing is, parking is free. Did anybody have trouble parking today? See, I solved the parking problem. When you graduate today, all those spots will be empty. So on Monday, you can park anywhere at Kane you want. So here's the advice. It's four C's, okay? Are you with me? Number one, confidence. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else would. You got that? Say yes. Okay, and here's the attachment to that one. Stay with people who believe in you. Stay away from permanent complainers. Do you know people who always complain about the weather, about life, about money, about you? You don't know them? Stay away from them. You want people to hold the ladder for you. You don't want people that will take the ladder from under you. You got that? Second thing, commit to something bigger than yourself. Get a dream. If you don't have a dream, you can't realize one. What do you mean a dream? A dream is not like a wish. I want a BMW, I want a house in the, in the suburb. That's not a dream, that's a wish. A dream is something that scares the heck out of you. Get one of those and then start climbing the mountain. And if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. When the time is ready, start running again. Can you do that? I didn't hear you. The last one, the bigger C, is courage. You should have the ability to be courageous enough not to be afraid to fail. Everybody fails. Learn from your failure 
and then come up with the idea of Facebook. Then I will show up in your house and asking you for money. There are people in this room that will create the next Facebook, that will create the next Uber, that today is worth $60 billion. Do you know what they do? You make a call, they connect your call to somebody, they take you from point A to point B. They're worth $60 billion. How come you didn't come up with that? Just imagine you're giving me 10% for scholarships. Your tuition would have been totally free. So what are the three big ones? Come on, this is your last test. Three big ones? Courage, commitment, and what else? You got it. And the last one is what? Charity and generosity. Nothing in life is better than helping somebody else realize their dream. Nothing. You are going to realize your dream, I'm sure of it, because you know how to handle parking at King, you know how to hold three or four jobs, you know how to text message in the classroom when your teacher is writing on the blackboard. You are geniuses, right? You know all of these things. So what I want you to do is to think about generosity, to think about almost two million people in Ethiopia that will starve, and a $20 donation would go a long way. You need to think about Darfur. You need to think about the poor in America. Without generosity, we're nothing. Are you with me? Without generosity, we're nothing. And you can do that. And the last generous act that I want you to do before I stop talking, is I want you to get up and say thank you to your parents and to your faculty for putting up with you. They sacrificed a great deal. Your parents, your family, your significant other to make it possible for you to be here. But now you're here and you're graduating. But you're not the only one, though. We have another graduation 9,000 miles from here that's going to happen in a few days. Do you know where it is? In Wenzhou, Kane, China. Do we have a little video of what's happening in China? Kelly? Okay. Hi, I'm Li Junpan. I am the valedictorian from Wenzhou King University. Congratulations on your graduation, and I wish you a good luck on your journey starting from King University. Bye. So we're going to send a message to our Chinese graduates. You want to do that? Okay, so let me bring in Joe Kevitt. He has a very fancy way of helping you send a message from here to China. Joe, where are you? Right here. You Thank you, Dr. Farahee. Okay, so each of you will be holding up a piece of a larger message for your fellow Kane students in Wenzhou. Some of you will work together to spell out Kane. Others will hold up signs that will spell out the year 2017. And the group here in the front will hold up cards that spell out congratulations in Mandarin. Every student is going to be involved. For those of you in the back, please get your flags ready to wave when we do the card stunt. For the faculty down in front, please get ready. We're going to wave the flags simultaneously when we do the card stunt. So I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration. We're going to do a quick little rehearsal up front, and then we're going to do this with everybody that has a card. So if you have a paper card at this moment, go ahead and unfold your paper card, put it flat in your lap, the side with the instructions should be facing up. 
When you're instructed to do the card stunt, you're simply going to lift the card up and hold it and look through the cutout. Pretty simple. Okay, the group down here that has the big white cards, we're going to do a quick rehearsal with you because you've got a little more of a complicated job. So at this, what, what you're going to do is start out with your card in front of your knees, grab the handles, and when you're instructed to do so, you're simply going to lift the card up put it on top of your head so the handles are right by your ears. Please try and hold the card flat and straight. And the corners are very sharp, so don't, don't poke anybody's eye out. Um, if you are tall, we need you to scooch down a little bit. If you're short, we need you to lift your card a little bit so all of the cards are flat and on the same plane. So we're gonna make a giant puzzle. So go ahead and put your cards down. We're going to do a quick rehearsal with just the, the big white cards. So everybody, put your cards down. Put your card in front of your knees. Everybody, grab your handles. Your card should be in front of your knees. Everybody should be seated. And on three, we're going to rehearse with just the, the big white cards. Okay, white cards, are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, go. So that spells congratulations in Mandarin. Make sure you hold your card flat. And like I said, if you're really tall, scooch down. If you're short, lift your card up a little bit. And try, if you can see me, you're holding your card tilted. Don't tilt your card, they should all be flat. Okay? All right, that looks good. Go ahead and uh, put your cards down. Cards down. Okay, we are about to do this for the cameras. And I need everybody in the arena, including the students, to count down. Once again, if you're in the back, get ready to wave your flags. Faculty, to get, get ready to wave your flags. We're going to record this and send it off to your fellow students in Winjoe. Okay, everybody, we're going to count down from five. Five, four, Three, two, one, go! Okay, helpers, get out of the aisles, please. Move out of the aisles. Move out of the aisles if you're helping. Okay, hold up those cards. Keep them up, looks great. Peter, can you get out of the aisle? Looks great, looks great. We good? Yeah, I can read it. Okay, cards down. Great job. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Ladies, you did a great job. So congratulations, the class of 2017. And thank you for choosing Kane University.